Hey guys, welcome to uh, the fifth, I think, the fifth, one second. Uh, the fifth uh, PSN draft overlook. Uh, today we're doing Stealthy in the Warsaw Weavile. I think that's his team name. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't get an actual one. This is just what someone told me it was. So I'm going with it. Uh, and his team is super, super scary. Uh, he doesn't have many top tier 1 threats, as you can see. He doesn't pick one until tier 4, or round 4, and the very last round. But that does not mean his team is not scary. His team is such a threat. It... Okay, don't... The low tier Mega... He, I'm pretty sure he has a bunch of extra coins. He has... Wait, let me just figure this out. Um, 125... 200... He has only spent 275 coins... So he actually has 125 extra coins if he ever wants to like buy anything because he did get a two he got a low tier mega and two tier fives which is which is pretty good for him uh, and even with that free amount of points his team is still so scary so without further ado let me just get into it his uh, first pick he actually grabbed Arcanine from tier two now Arcanine. Uh, it can be, it, it's usually offensive, but it's defensive uh, possibilities are very overlooked because, especially in draft league, because um, in draft league format, uh, his offensive capability is very limited to pretty much uh, extreme speed, flare blitz, and then the fang moves, right? Uh, he can't really make, he doesn't have any like insane coverage moves that can really make him unpredictable and make him able to run through a team. So that's why I think that his actually defensive counterpart is a lot better in um in counter team uh, because it can take hits and it can cripple physical attackers with the will o wisp intimidate combo which is just amazing. Uh, so I'm actually going to get into his second mon which is uh he's actually already picking coin picks. He's picking a Dawn fan. A uh, Dawn fan is an amazing defensive uh, duo to grab with Arcanine, and his team. If you look at his end team, he is just an amazing defensive team. Uh, starting with the first core of uh, Arcanine and Dawn fan. Uh, Dawn fan is another thing that can. Um, it's kind of the opposite of Arcanine. Everyone always sees it as just a defensive mon, but I think its offensive potential is way overlooked. It does get moves like Play Rough. Uh, I'm pretty sure it gets Poison Jab. It gets Ice Shard Knock Off. It gets Rock Polish. So you can run an AV um, defensive mon if you want. Uh, you can run a Rock Polish Sweeper, or you can just run your standard defensive mon, and it gets an amazing ability and Sturdy, which just makes it that much better. Uh, so now his third pick. This is going to be more of an attacker. But uh, still staying in the um, like kind of mixed attack defense area, he's actually gonna grab Drapion, which can be a setup sweeper, or if you need it to, it can be a bulky, another bulky. I think it gets intimidate. Uh, it can be defensive toxic mon. It can cause the dark poison type is amazing, making it immune to psychic, um, making really its only weakness is ground. I think, a uh, ground and round I think that actually might be it as people keep messaging me um but yeah so Drapion is amazing it can be banded I'm actually gonna put this away or just move it away so that people can stop messaging me oh shut up okay um yeah so it can be banded it can be scarfed uh, it gets that sucker punch it does get sword stance which is just so many amazing possibilities in this pick I didn't really agree with it that much but it is okay, and I just realized I've forgotten to pull my shade down. He's actually going to grab Gliscor, a tier 1 mod, his first tier 1 mod, which has the amazing defensive potential as Poison Heal Toxic Stall, and that also helps it with being an amazing status absorber. But another thing that can actually make a lot harder for his team is that uh, he has a few heal bellers. Let me just see how many, actually. Actually, looking at it, I think he only has two. But still, those two things are going to have a lot more trouble using Heal Bell because of the Toxic on the Gliscor, which could be a problem. But that's fine. Uh, so now, we're actually going to get into his first Heal Beller. So he's actually going to grab Vaporeon as a Tier 2 coin pick. Uh, this thing's amazing. It is his Bulky Water, which I think is essential and something that so many other teams lacked. Uh, there, 
another thing that so many teams lacked was a good fairy type, um, including this team. This team doesn't even have a fairy type at all, which I think is a little bit sketchy. But um, there are a few teams that actually have fairy types, and then few that have good fairy types. Like, I have fairy types, but not good ones. I only have Mawile and Togetic, which are decent. And it kind of sucks that I'm going to have to be relying on lower tier mons week after week for fairy coverage. Which could be very hard. But, um, so yeah, Vaporeon's a defensive cleric wish passer. It can be a heal beller. It can really do a lot of things, which is really helpful. And now here comes the Mega, the low tier Mega that everyone's been waiting for. It is one of the two only low tier Megas that were drafted. And it is actually so scary, especially with his team, but it kind of just made Gliscor even, like, make, look like even worse of a choice. He's gonna pick up Mega Pidgeot, the low-tier Mega. Uh, so this thing is amazing with no guard, like, even if it's predictable, pretty much running Hurricane, Heat Wave, those kind of things. Even if it is predictable like that, that does not mean that it's not good. It has that essential no-miss Hurricane, as well as the chance to confuse which, in my opinion, it shouldn't be a low-tier Mega, but there was a vote on it, and it was voted to be low-tier. Which I think is kind of stupid, but I'm going to let them, the people who voted, do them. Uh, so now, here's going to come another kind of sketchy thing right here. Uh, this Mon is in Tier 3 for some reason. Uh, I believe it should be Tier 4. Uh, unfortunately, it was me who made the tiers, so it's me who made the stupid decision to put it in Tier 3, but it is in Tier 3. And he actually grabbed Verizion. Uh, Verizion. There's not much to say about Verizion. Uh, it can be Scarfed, which is probably your best ability. It can also be, uh, Koba Berry for flying types. I think that's what it's called. And yeah, uh, that's really it. It could be a bulky Leftovers, but it doesn't have much bulk potential. And I think that it's actually decent at what it does in the Scarf, uh, category, but I don't know. Uh, I hope it can do some good stuff, but a lot of people don't think it's going to. Uh, and now, this pick is actually really cool. Uh, he's gonna pick Greninja Torrent. Uh, I'm looking forward to Greninja Torrent, hopefully putting in some work. Um, and this is kind of where he, we started to realize his team is straying away from the bulk, picking up Mega Pidgeot, Verizion, and then Greninja. Three in a row, right? Uh, and it's not a bad thing. It's more attackers. Unfortunately, since it doesn't have that protein, it's gonna protein. It's gonna be stuck into that water type. So now he has two, and it's kind of making his team look a little bit weak to Mammal Swine. Uh, I I have to say, especially freeze dry Mammal Swine. I know that freeze dry is a very rare move, but whenever I'm looking at drafts, Mammal Swine is one of the top mons in draft league. And freeze dry is such an essential move on it that when I'm just looking at this team, uh, really Arcanine and Drapion and Verzion are the only thing. Actually, I think that Verzion's weak to it, but then uh, Arcanine and Drapion buffed by an earthquake. But he's actually able to make that so much better right here with his next defensive pick, Bronzong, which is amazing. It is tier 4 somehow. I don't know how it made tier 4 considering its two amazing abilities, one being able, or both of them. Uh, it has the third one, Light Metal, but no one really uses that. Heat Proof and Levitate both neglecting one of its weaknesses. That just makes it amazing, so it's a good dual screen setter, rock setter. And yeah, uh, so now he has Hazard Setting and Hazard Removal. What else could he ask for? This pick, I, I want it, or I didn't want it, but I hope he can put in some work with it. And I, lo I love seeing this thing go before. Ta Sylveon went undrafted. And this thing didn't. He had the choice right here to pick up Sylveon. And instead, he goes for Shed Ninja. Uh, Shed Ninja is kind of a joke thing. Especially in, um, in Counter Team, pretty much set up any sort of entry hazard and it dies. Okay, like any sort of entry hazard and it's dead. Okay, I don't care what you're talking about. This isn't no balance attack mods. You cannot run sturdy. Just one coverage move that can kill it. Or any entry hazard and it's done gone. So, I, as much as I think it was a horrible decision, I want to see him try, and I want to see him hopefully succeed with this mod. I know it probably won't happen, but it would be funny if it did. 
Uh, so now, second last pick, he's gonna dip back down. Uh, he he could have picked up a tier one. He could have picked up a Sylveon here, but he looked at his team. He needed a fairy. He needed a fast electric. Uh, so we picked up the fast electric in Raichu. Uh, Raichu, it's not a bad mon. Gets Volt Switch, fast Volt Switch. Uh, good Scarfer. That's really it. Uh, it doesn't have too many like amazing things about it. But yeah, it gets like Grass Knot. If you want it, unfortunately, most people did not draft bulky waters for some unknown reason, but I don't know, to each their own. And uh, finally, finally, his last pick, again, could have picked Sylveon, but could have picked Sylveon. He needed a fairy type, he had enough points, but he, actually he's going to go with another amazing choice, which is Gengar. Uh, Gengar hits incredibly hard. It's pretty hard, or it's not pretty hard to take down, but it's pretty hard to not get taken down by. Uh, it's so fast, it breaks walls, breaks down teams, destroys lives. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the rundown on Gengar. Uh, so if you have any suggestions for this team, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll make sure to hopefully pass them on to the uh, owner of this team. And without further ado, I urge you guys to like, follow, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, that's completely fine. And uh, I will see you guys in the next draft overlook as we, I think, only have three left. So, uh, yeah. Bye-bye.